Our next guest is the host of Mike Vecchione Investigates, available at Apple Podcasts. Please welcome one of our favorites back to the Tonight Show stage, the very funny Mike Vecchione! Thank you so much, everybody. It's great to be here. First, I would like to thank Mr. Jimmy Fallon for bringing live stand-up comedy back to television. Amazing. And uh, shout out to New York City. We're coming back, baby. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. There are some things I'm gonna miss about the pandemic, though. For example, walking into a restaurant and having my temperature taken like I'm being executed. <laughs> I enjoy it. This is to make you feel safe. <laughs> I like it when the hostess takes a break and I go up and take the thermometer and I just start using it on people for comedy reasons. Couple walks in, you know, I point it to the woman and I go, you're pregnant. You're pregnant. Then I point it to the guy and go, you're not the father. I've been going to the gym, and um, there's a lot of paperwork at the gym now. I go there, the guy gives me like 10 forms. I go, yeah, I'm not trying to purchase the gym. I'm just trying to get a workout. He goes, we're trying to determine whether you're healthy enough to be at the gym. I'm like, hey, buddy, let me save you some trouble. I'm not healthy enough to be at the gym. If I was healthy enough to be at the gym, I wouldn't be at the gym, okay? I'd be at home eating donuts. I try to keep up with my mental health. I'm doing affirmations, and the affirmation I do is millionaire mindset. Every morning, I sit on the couch, I close my eyes, and I repeat the phrase, I am a very powerful millionaire. I am a very powerful millionaire. Hey, guys, I'm a very powerful millionaire. Girlfriend walks out, shakes me, interrupts my, my mindset, you know? And she goes, uh, you left the dishes in the sink last night. Is that what we're doing? We're leaving the dishes in the sink? I turn to her, I'm like, do you know who you're talking to? I am a very powerful millionaire. You can't talk to a very powerful millionaire that way. But later I found out she had been doing a billionaire mindset. <laughs> But arguments can escalate in quarantine. They really can. For example, my girlfriend is from Indiana. And did you guys know that people from Indiana do not like to be called hillbillies? <laughs> yeah, that is a slur. The politically correct term is farm to table. <laughs> the farm to tables don't like it when you call them hillbillies. It gets their overalls in a twist. So the argument, it's escalating. She goes, you're always mad at me. That's the problem. I go, I don't think that's true. She goes, it is. And to prove it, I'm going to start a log. Every time you get mad at me, I'm going to write it down in the log. I was like, look, no disrespect, but you have a tendency to overreact sometimes, so I would like access to the log. She goes, no, you will not have access to the log. I go, well, then I'm going to start my own log. Every time you deny me access to your log, I'm going to write it down in my log. And that was the last argument we had. We don't argue anymore because it's too much paperwork. <laughs> I figure if I wanted to do that much paperwork, I'd go to the gym. <laughs> I'm a Catholic and I've been praying for you guys. You're welcome. <laughs> when you're Catholic, what you do is you go to church. It's open now, it's legal. You say a prayer, you light a candle, but I'm a very competitive Catholic. So before I light my candle, I blow everybody else's candle out. <laughs> I've been losing massive amounts of weight in the quarantine because I've been doing intermittent fasting. And the philosophy behind intermittent fasting is that you're not supposed to eat all the time. Sometimes you're not supposed to eat. And I was doing it as a child because my father had a gambling problem. He would lose the money that we were going to use to buy food. He would lose it on football. And my friends were no help. They're like, Mike, are you going to eat this week? I was like, I don't know. Did the Dolphins win by three? <laughs> That's all my time. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. New York City, baby! Mike Becchio! Thank you for being here in studio. Mike Becchio! Check out Mike.
Mike Vecchio. You can't see, but he's getting, you're getting a standing ovation with those 10, 10 people right there. We love you, buddy. Thank you for doing that. Check out Mike Vecchio and Investigates at Apple Podcasts. Uh, uh-huh. So on and on and on. Uh, I said. And it's so on.